I ever pondered what it would be like to hold a piece of Mars in your hand? This isn't just a whimsical daydream, but a very real possibility, thanks to the Mars Sample Return Mission, or MSR for short. This isn't your typical space mission. The MSR is an ambitious project that aims to bring back samples from the Red Planet, a feat that has never been achieved before. But why go to such great lengths to bring back Martian rocks? Well, these aren't just any old rocks. They're keys to unlocking the mysteries of Mars and potentially the secrets of life itself. Studying Mars samples on Earth will allow scientists to use advanced tools and techniques that simply can't be taken to Mars. It's like bringing the Martian laboratory right here to our home planet. Imagine standing on the brink of interplanetary discovery as scientists prepare to embark on the most ambitious Mars mission yet. How does a piece of Mars land in the hands of a scientist on Earth, you ask? Well, let's delve into the fascinating process of Mars sample return. This process is essentially a three-step dance between space and Earth. The steps, collection, launch, and recovery. First, let's talk about collection. This is where NASA's Perseverance rover comes into play. This extraordinary robot is not just a rover, it's a geologist, a chemist, and a biologist. It's equipped with a drill to collect core samples of Martian rock and soil, then store them in tubes. These aren't just any tubes, but specially designed ones to ensure the samples remain uncontaminated during their journey back to Earth. Next up is the launch phase. This sounds exactly like what it is. Future missions will retrieve these tube-contained samples and launch them into Mars orbit. Imagine a relay race, but instead of passing a baton, we're passing tubes of Martian samples. The rover passes the tubes to the next spacecraft, which then takes the baton, I mean the tubes, and launches them into Mars orbit. Finally, we have the recovery phase. This is where things get really exciting. A spacecraft captures the sample containers in Mars orbit. Now, this isn't as simple as catching a frisbee in the park. It requires precise calculations and timing. Once captured, the spacecraft embarks on its journey back to Earth. And there you have it. The Mars samples, once part of the red Martian soil, are now on their way to Earth. They will land in the hands of eager scientists ready to unlock the secrets they hold. From the red planet to our blue one, the journey of a Mars sample is nothing short of a sci-fi adventure. This interplanetary journey is more than just an exciting adventure. It's a testament to human curiosity and our relentless pursuit of knowledge. The Mars Sample Return Mission is a crucial endeavor in our quest to unravel the mysteries of life beyond Earth. It's the cosmic equivalent of an archaeological dig sifting through the Martian soil for clues about our universe's past and potential future. The process is intricate, yet fascinatingly simple. Collection, launch, and recovery. First, we collect samples using advanced rovers on the Martian surface. Next, we launch these samples back into space where another spacecraft captures them mid-orbit. The final step is the recovery of these precious samples back on Earth. The scientific potential these samples hold is immense. They could provide insights into the Martian environment, the possibility of past or present life, and even the origins of our own planet. As we stand at the precipice of this grand endeavor, one can only wonder what secrets does the Red Planet hold for us?